Welcome back to that Beatrice Shooter. My name is Josh. Today we are going to clean this Italian 25 caliber. <laughs> If you could, before we get started, give this video a like. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you receive all the latest content. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. All right, on with the video. Hey, sorry, I lied. I have merch available now. I have shirts, cups, and totes. Here is one of the prints for the shirt. They're soft. They're comfortable. They fit very nice. So if you'd like to pick one up, I'll put a link in the description, and you can go check it out for yourself. They ship directly to your door. Everything is done on the website, so it's really simple. And um, I think that's it. So on with the video. All right, so the backstory on this is um, it was my wife's grandfather's. When he passed, um, we got a box full of some of his belongings. This was in it. It's 25 caliber. There's no magazine. I have not fired it. It is quite dirty. Um, it does cycle. And this has been cleared, in case anybody's wondering. It does cycle. And the trigger works fine. The hammer works. Um, the safety is very smooth. And the safety works as well. Um, that's on safe. And that is on fire. Uh, it needs a cleaning. And I also need a magazine, if anybody knows, of any place that has one. Um, there was a few places I went to that I found some. They were not in stock. So they have the GT27 and 22. This is a it's an Army Tanfoglio uh, Giuseppe something. I'm horrible at that. I'm, I'm not Italian. Anyways, it's made in Italy. Uh, it's a model GT26 I'm finding the GT27, um, but that, that does not work for this, at least I don't think. If if it will work, if somebody will let me know, that would be amazing. Uh, but for now, I'm just trying to find the GT26, which is what this is, so we can throw a mag in there and see what happens. Um, I could put one in the chamber, I suppose, after I clean it, but um, I want to... I would rather have the mag and have the full thing and just to see if it works just to fire a couple rounds whatever and see how it goes um, it says on the side here do not use until you read the instructions manual available from XCAM Halaya Halaya Halia Florida uh, 33013 it's an XCAM I guess um, I guess they were founded in 1948 from what I read I did a little bit of reading uh, I do not know how old this gun is though I looked up the serial number I got nothing so um, today we're just going to clean it so I think what I'm going to do is move the camera over here so you guys can see how dirty this thing is and go from there so be right back I'm thinking that is the best view I'm going to be able to get for you guys um, so let's go ahead and take it apart. So you put the put the weapon on fire. Then you pull it all the way back, and you pull it up, and the slide comes off. Just like that. And the spring. And this little guy, look how much dirt and corrosion and funk is on that. You can see it glittering. It's horrible. And um, then that just comes right out. So as you can see from the inside there, look at all that. It's just, you can tell it hasn't been cleaned probably in years and years and years, if ever. So let's see what we can do. So let's go ahead. We got the rim oil and I'm using, um, 22 long rifle if it the best I didn't have any 22 or 25 I mean so okay let that soak in for a little bit let's use 
this guy first. We're gonna set that there. take this off I don't think it will hurt anything and I'm not gonna be taking any of that off because um, well for one I don't want to mess anything up um, Two, I've I've never done this before with this gun so and I don't I really don't want to mess it up I will um, replace these I believe if I can find someone that has them I will replace them and if I can find some parts maybe I'll just do a, a little restore on it we'll do a little restoration project look on the inside of that that's just straight wood dirty wood but like I said we're not doing not doing all that today I just want to make sure it's clean ish okay let's do a little bit more spray oh yeah see I think that's the mag release if I'm not mistaken If anybody's ever dealt with these before, let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Because like I said, I have never messed with one of these before. And I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to clean it. Pretty gross. It has been a long time since it has been given any attention. So I'm glad I can give it some. Definitely needs it. I do like the simplicity of it though. It looks like it's pretty straightforward if something does come out. It doesn't look really all that bad to put together. Alright, let's dry this off and get all this access. Okay. So I want to put this back on before I lose piece. Oh, let me get this actually. Let me clean. Okay. That side's pretty clean. Let's get this side back together. That side's pretty clean. It's just doesn't look clean. Oh, let's clean this too. Maybe we need this other screw in there first. Pretty sure that's right. Right now. 
Let's get some down in that barrel. Actually, see down in that looks nice. All right, let's continue. You see how it's got some damage on the top there, just from being old, I guess. I would imagine this would um, this would help quite a bit and lube it up so it will work better. All right, that part's done. Let's get in here and get this guy. Let's start with the outside. Look how bad that's pitted. We're going to clean it up the best we can. It looks like it's already much, much better than what it was. Yeah. Lots of stuff coming off. So how you put it back together? The same way you took it apart. You get oh whoa we didn't clean some stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, now. That goes in there. Oh, actually. You want your safety in first. Okay. So that goes in there. And then this. This goes inside that. Oh, crap. Well. oh, there we go. And that's it. And then you want to tighten down. This feels loose now. Like, oh, that's butter. That is much better. Oh, 
Oh yes, much better. Still got some access on it, a little too much. Mm, but that is butter. That's much better. As you see, it cycles and works just fine. I just need ammo and a mag. Maybe I'll pick some ammo up and I'll just um, I'll throw them in one at a time, and we'll see how that works. Um, and we'll try that. I don't know. But for now, <clears throat> for now that's it. Um, just gotta, gotta find a magazine for this guy and some ammo and we'll, we'll take it out and see what it does. And then I've got, I got a bullpup shotgun on the way and the wife has a, because you know she likes her 22s. She's got a, um, She's got an MP15-22 on the way. Um, she likes my my MP15, but she does not she does not like the 223. So she's she's getting one at 22. So that's coming soon. Um, and then I would like to do some other stuff as well, but we'll see what happens. And then we've still got the the grenades. We have to try the grenades out. I'm sorry for the camera being crooked. I just noticed it. When I put it back over there, it was crooked. <laughs> but we still got the grenades to do. Um, we have the smoke bombs. Um, I just have to find a place to do it at, is my issue. Um, once we find a place, I'm going to do one each. Um, one, one frag grenade filled with the BBs. And I'm going to do one flashbang and then one smoke bomb. Um, I just don't know. I don't know when that will be, and I don't know where that will be. Um, if anybody in the Central Florida area knows of a good place that I will not get the cops called on me or the fire department, uh, drop a comment down below and please let me know um, any suggestions. I was kind of thinking the um, the National Forest, but I, I have not done that yet because it seems like it would not be a good idea, so I don't know. So if you know somewhere, let me know, and, um, and we'll, we'll test those out because I'm dying to test those out. And um, I think, since this was supposed to be done yesterday... Um, the next video, I think I'm going to start doing my, my gear. I have a lot of stuff in there in my room. So I think I'm going to bring that out and we'll start breaking that down one little at a time. Um, discussing loadout and all that and, and then get your guys' opinions on what you think, whether it's right or it's wrong or I need more, I need less, change this up, that, whatever. Uh, we'll start with that tomorrow, I believe, if I can. I just remember to have like three things going on tomorrow, so we'll see. If I can film it today, that would be sweet, and then post it tomorrow. So we'll see with that too, but not really sure. Um, anyways, thanks for watching and listening to me ramble. Y'all be safe.